what those kill options are and just playing around them beautifully. Yeah. Um, speaking, of <laughs> speaking of kill options, uh, Palutena ain't got that much anymore. I know this is old news, no, but yeah. it's uh, in this match in particular, I'm curious to see how Jen is going to be closing out stocks. Because Sonic is a character that is notoriously difficult to kill at times. And without having like a grab confirm into a kill or uh, you know, a really really reliable kill setups beyond, you know, just good stage positioning, I think this might actually be pretty difficult for Jen. Let's see if Kamix is actually able to exploit something like that. Yeah, Kamex has been on a tear lately, like we were saying. I know, got third at a Xeno pretty recently, and now in winner side of top eight, um, just playing so consistent. And Jen right here, uh, obviously another king of consistency. It's gonna be, like you're saying, so vital that Paltana does not, like, for even one moment, get rid of her, like, defensive play. Because if she starts running the Sonic, it's just going to be so over. And Kamex is definitely a player that's good enough to punish that. But Jen, I think, I think is going to be strong enough to uh, not totally break. But we'll have to see. Oh, wow! That You saw the forward smash there. I can't believe that up air connected before the, uh, the smash attack could. And because of that, Jen is alive right here at 103%. Not, you know, he does have to be a little, no, he doesn't have to be scared at all. I don't, that must have been some questionable that DI, right? That was some right? questionable DI okay. if I've ever seen it. I think uh, probably was holding, was holding in, yeah. Yeah, because he was preparing for the spin bash. Um, so now, now Jen, you know, that big thing that we were saying, you know, he has to watch out for, no longer the case. Instead, he can play this game of, I'm just going to hit you and do damage. And that's something that Palutena does very well. Oh, boy. Yeah, we will get a quick 26. We already saw he did, like, jump Nair and immediately held back. Torley just trying to get Kamex to come in and punish it. Getting two frame by that down tilt is just... <laughs> it's so scary every time. And it happens a lot because of how active that down tilt is. At this stage in the game, I like the use of Nair. That's one thing is that Palutena does have long-lasting hitboxes, and characters that have long-lasting, reliable hitboxes can a lot of them can contest those uh, those blistering approaches that Sonic likes to be just kind of spamming at times. Wow, this has been so even this entire set. <laughs> There's not been one point where each, each, each player was running late. That was so scary. That was such a good way. I, I feel like one thing that Kamix has been doing a really good job of is whenever he's playing against somebody, he starts to figure out their timings. And if you're able to do that with Sonic, because of how fast he is, if you're able to anticipate when they're going to run in and when they're going to, you know, fade back and just pull the trigger when you need to, that's when all of a sudden huge damage comes out. And as it stands, he has a bit of a lead here. Will he actually be able to convert it into a big one? Yes, he does. And this now is the first stock lead for Kamex. And well, everything we were saying earlier about this matchup just becomes tenfold, where Kamex truly does not have to do any s approaching of any sort. And Palutena is a character that, like, obviously her defensive options are so good, but she can't really do, like, landing aerials on shield super comfortably besides, like, bear. I can't believe that forward tilt came out. Jen just a little bit too patient that time around. Because of that, Kamex is living at 159%. That was amazing. Beautiful stuff from Jen. Recognizing just a good way to be cleaning up stocks and be holding shield on ledge. Ooh. Coming off aggressive from ledge, that can be so risky against Palutena, especially Palutena's love to opt to spam back air. So good call out from Kamex, but does not matter, 61%. Yeah, he tried to go for that same aggression, and just like you said, the back air came out from Jen. Oh! You know, I've been saying how, oh, the timing seemed to be really good, you know, the adaptation on Kamex's part. But Jen is an adaptation monster himself, and you can tell that he's now picking his moves a lot more carefully. And as a result, he's the one with a pretty sizable lead. Ooh, and the confidence definitely coming out with him going for that up smash, but that up smash did make it so, took about like 25%. This could be a potential opening for Kamex. Oh man, it feels like when Kamex is in disadvantage, he still has so many options. And I know that's not true. I know that Sonic is a character you can hit, you know, if you know what he's doing. But look at this! He's just weaving in and out of traffic and managing to get so much damage in the process. 
attacked so fast he outsped the counter itself. That is some Sonic exclusive <laughs> stuff right there. Oh, I think there's a bit of a flub on movement. Got him forward aired. Kamex now has to be very scared, but it's like call out moves like that. Like a bear is gonna do it. No, it's no. not. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was the deepest explosive flame I think I've ever seen. But it was also really smart, recognizing that at that distance, he was maybe expecting an air dodge, you know, like a directional air dodge when you're that close to the blast zone. Uh, but instead, we got the forward air, I believe. And the forward air was also punishable enough that he was able to hit him with it. Yeah, that, that deep out, you know, there's not really a world where you're not holding forward because you feel safe. And that's probably the only option that could remotely punish drifting forward from that far away. Uh, that's got to be some confidence for Jen going into game two. You got to feel good after getting a hard read like that. Yeah, that being said, uh, Kamex has done a really good job tonight, at least, of feeling like he's down at the beginning of these sets and turning things around. So, <laughs> but then again, I, against Jen specifically, because he is such a good player, and such, so good at adapting, I feel like as the set goes on, he might not get that same sort of, you know, differential that he's been getting against most of the other players. Yeah, I agree completely. I think Jen is the type of player that gets stronger the longer the set. And we're already seeing this right here, a 70% lead. And just placing these back airs, you know, you're, you're up so much. Why bother doing anything that could put you in harm? Not only is it, a, like, a, I mean, at this point, 75% lead, but also, what a call out! I was, I was about to say, Kamex is at death percent for our, like, very specific things. But no, instead just the raw up smash that he lets rip, knowing that he was going to be in his face, and that's going to be a... Amazing stock for Jen. Look at this 51%. He is looking absolutely comfortable. Yeah, that up smash right there. That's why Jen's won Xenos. That's why Jen's plays good at majors. Because you just know this whole set, even if it looks even, he's been taking notes on what uh, Camus does in what situation. Because you have to be so confident to be able to place an up smash read like that. Wow, that, that was actually an amazing upbeat, though. Somehow dodging through all of the hits on that down tilt to get that situation turned around. But ugh, still at 92%, he has now been lapped. And he is, both these characters are at death's door, but the fact that Jen's working with three stocks just means he can play so much more liberally if he wants to, which I don't even think he does. No, he seems so confident in Kamis' movement that it's not even making him like play really uh, cons like conservative or laid back. He's he's still moving around with the Sonic, and wow, what a fast match! Oh, mash wasn't fast enough that time around, and nice tech, but it's the sort of situation where another back is probably going to be doing it. Three stocks to one, and this is also as Sonic, where Sonic can you know really make comebacks happen, but he needs a lot of time to do it because it requires patient, careful play. And if he takes too much time, if Jen wants to slow down with him, the clock would be a factor. Oof. Oh, what a surprising spring right there. I don't think Jen was ready for that. I wasn't ready for it, but really does not seem to be deterring him at all. 104% on two fresh stocks from Jen. Oh, we saw that up smash come out. But a nice aggressive option from Kamex keeps him alive, but oh boy, he needs to make some big edge offstage play happen or an early stock of some kind because he's already at 130 and we're now getting at the territory of Palutena throws are going to kill. And once Palutena's throws are able to kill, it becomes so much harder to play the neutral against her. Wow, it just co it covers space for such a long amount of time right there. We saw the ending face of that up smash. Get Kamex coming from uh, coming aggressive from ledge again. Jen punishing it in the very last moments of that set. And I think that just showed such strong adaptation from Jen. That was really why good does, stuff. Why does Palu up smash feel like a final smash move? It like, does, I'm pretty yeah. sure that's what Lucario's final smash does. Yeah, yeah, but from the sky. It's, it's Lucario's final smash from the ground. Uh, just a giant giant blue beam that kills you but um jen playing amazing right there and probably is feeling good going into this next set because i believe he's about to just fight zamba yep we're